Und wir begrüßen ganz herzlich unsere Nummer 10, Nicole. Und unsere Nummer 4, Taylor. Nicole, wie sehr hat dich der Sommer bei der Nationalmannschaft verletzungsmäßig belastet? I had a World Championship a little bit pain on my knee. I came back, it was away, so I practiced again. Then after I think a few weeks it started, I went to Fischl, I thought it was fine, and then it was getting worse and worse. Then uh, my app was also hurting, so I thought it was smart to do an MRI, and then they said I had to stop playing volleyball for a few weeks, and so was my season. <laughs> Ich weiß, dass in der Phase, wo Nicole so lange zwar immer mit in der Halle war, aber nicht gespielt hat, dass ihr immer wieder gefragt habt und dass ihr sie so herbeigesehnt habt, dann weiß ich noch, dass irgendwann das Spiel da war, wo du dich wieder mit eingeschlagen hast. Was war das für ein Gefühl, endlich wieder für die Ladies da zu sein? It was nice. It was but the, during the warming up I felt a little bit pain, so I was not able to, but then a few weeks later I was able to play and I was happy. <laughs> After a few weeks not playing, it's good to be in a court again. Yeah, it's hard, I think. Yeah. And we know what you can. We know you now in the third year, so everybody here in the room is uh, absolutely clear that you are a fantastic volleyball player. You know? Taylor, in a mannschaft T genannt. T, you have six MVP medals. Yeah, yeah. but... It's great for you? Yeah, of course, it feels really good, but I think Jody said it earlier too, you know, you're, you're not who you are without your team, and I just feel, you know, so blessed to have like such a big group around me that allowed me to do that, so yeah. That's good. It's your first pro season, it's your first pro year after college, your first season as a volleyball profi in Europa, here in Deutschland, by us in Aachen. Um, what is the biggest difference between living in the USA here in Aachen, what's the biggest difference to live in USA and to live in Germany, Aachen? So like lifestyle outside of volleyball? Yes. Um, there's several like little differences, like something we always talk about that's kind of random but funny is like when we go to dinner and you have to like wait a long time to pay, you have to ask and in the States they come up to you and like make you leave. So that's like something that's really different is going out to dinner is very like, it's slower and you can just kind of enjoy yourself and take your time whereas in the States it's really fast and they want you to pay right away. So that's like a little different. Okay, in every restaurant you must pay very fast in USA? Pretty much. Not every, but most often as soon as you're done eating, they bring you your check. Oh, wow. Also in, in den USA muss man viel schneller bezahlen. Hier in Deutschland ist das ähm, Bezahlen erst am Ende und man lässt sich Zeit und man muss manchmal sogar den Kellner rufen, um zu bezahlen. Wusste ich noch gar nicht. <lacht> um, you and Maddie, this is a special connection, I think. Friends for life? Yeah, um, we actually talk about it a lot. We're like, we're really funny together, but in all seriousness, we're just very grateful that this brought us together because I think we definitely will be friends for the rest of our lives. So, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Your connection to Maya is also, I think, a little bit special because normal, as is eigentlich sind sie Konkurrenten auf der gleichen Position, so you play the same position, and how it comes that you are so good friends? I don't know, we just, something about us just kind of clicks and we both, you know, we, we laugh a lot together and we, we both love cats, that's one thing, we love cats. That's the difference, they love cats, of course. But, um, I don't know, we just uh, grew a bond together throughout the season and like you said, it's easy being in the same position to kind of, you know, want to beat each other out, be the one that's on the court, but we just constantly are pushing each other to be better and whoever is on the court playing, we're just happy for them. And obviously we both want to be playing, but we were just both really supportive of each other and it was, I would, I'm just so happy it was me and her in the same position. Me too. Nicole, nach dem dritten Jahr in Aachen, ist das eine besondere Mannschaft dieses Jahr? Und die hören jetzt alle zu übrigens. Every year again we have a, a good connected team, like even through hard times, good times, every time. Yeah, even outside of volleyball. Yeah, this yeah. is important too? I think yes. Okay. If you feel yourself comfortable in the team, you can be easier, easier yourself, so it can be easier yeah, to play. <laughs> I don't know. What's your best place in Aachen after three years? Uh, Fairbus. Schöne Grüße an Fairbus.
Nikolaus de Lüttigholz, ein Gutschein über x Euro. Is there a, a special game, a best game in this season for you? <laughs> I think in the beginning of the season against Serin, that we had, we lost that one three two, but the beginning of the uh, game we were so, we really wanted it that the eagerness was, yeah, it was there. What do you think? Who will be the German champion this year? I think it will be close, but I think it will be Serin. Oh, okay. I think it's Stuttgart. We will see. And when when it's Stuttgart, we lose against the German champion. <laughs> team. Who who is the clown in the team? Do you have a clown? Yes. Uh... Yeah, this is true. I think everyone has a funny side, actually. So it's hard to pick one. I think we kind of all noticed this year that we brought out the funny side of like everyone. So yeah, I think everyone was kind of had a funny side. Someone said from the team now, Chris is the clown. Yeah, yeah he's also of course. Funny. Yeah, very funny. He's a funny guy. What's a scout? Chris Moore. Do you have also a highlight game for you? Um, well, I really agree with Nicole on the Shrein game. I think that was really special, especially in the beginning of the season. And we that was the first game I think we really realized what we were capable of. And then other than that, I just really enjoyed all the games in Dresden. Beating them three times in Dresden, I just thought was really special. Unsere Nummer 10, Nicole. Und unsere Nummer 4, Taylor. Amen. 